What's going on you guys? So I have another Dell Optiplex 5070. I'm gonna remove the psycho panel. So first all we'll do is I'm gonna remove the front cover. This plastic that clips like this generally. Move the hard drive cage here. It's a also underneath is an optical drive, so just connect the CD and power cable. I came with a 500 gig hard drive only. It didn't come with SSD when I bought it. So what I'm gonna do, I will upgrade to six terabytes storage, for extra storage. So now what I will do is, guys, I'm gonna it's install the SSD 2280 NVMe.2. I'm uh, using the Samsung. This is an Evo Plus. I will need to get a M.2 screw. I need to, and I need a mini Phillips screwdriver. Hold on. So you're just gonna hold like this. It's installed. You guys uh, not if it's not storage one terabyte you can go uh two terabytes ssd if you want i'll put a link in the description you guys can buy it so now what i'll do guys i'll upgrade the ram it's got 16 gigs in here and i'm gonna add two more sticks make it 32 gigs and the white slot ones is a channel a the black ones will be channel b Now what I will do is I'm gonna upgrade the CPU. To do that, I'm just gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver. There are two screws in the bottom, two in the top. Okay, so. Okay, so I have to go around again to the top side. So to do that, either you want to disconnect it or you just leave it on. What I'll do, you probably can't see it. I want to disconnect the CPU pin, four pin. And I need a paper towel to remove the thermal compound first before I'm gonna remove it. Same with the uh, and I will take again clean paper towel again and I need to Get a uh, rubbing alcohol. Uh, Ninety-one percent works pretty well. I'm gonna wipe this down. Just get my hands clean. And I will install, this is an i5-9500, 9th gen, I'm gonna install six core CPU. I'm 
I'll show you guys. See? Okay. That's installed. I'm gonna wipe this one also. And I'm gonna go and take the thermal compound. I, I recommend you guys just uh, get an Arctic because this one is I'm um, using is our, our Cooler Master, but this is a 200 grams. It's a lot. I gotta use it because there's so much. But I do recommend you guys go with the Arctic MX4 they have. It's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna go in or Arctic Silver 5 they have. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can buy it. Installed back, so you're gonna connect back the CPU or pin back to the motherboard and install it. So you take the screwdriver and just go each side. I do like the small phone, but they're pretty nice uh, system. I do use I use one right right now in my office. So I do recommend them. So if you guys want to get one, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can buy it online. They sell them. Double check. Complete. Now I'll do install the video card. So I got a I just buy I did buy a, I did buy an AMD Radeon RX 6400. It comes with a full high bracket. You guys will have to change it to a small low profile bracket that it's included. That's also, I'll put a link in the description, you guys can buy it online, the video card. So what I'll do is I'm gonna switch it the other side like this. So you guys can see better. And remove this right here and uh, it's got a PCI bracket. If it's because this is the top one is a PCI Express times four, the black one. We're gonna be installing the, the bottom one, the, the PCI Express Time 16, the blue slot. If you guys can, if you were do buy it, and it does see right here, the top one is a PCI bracket that's mounted to the case. You will have to use the pliers to remove it. Install the video cord. Now what I'll do is I'm going to switch it back. And if you guys are asking about the power supply, uh, the power supply in here is a 200 watt. It worked perfectly fine with RX 6400 unit. So so don't forget guys, uh, the, uh, for the main boot drive to install Windows will be through the SSD, the NVMe I installed the one terabyte. This will be for the extra storage. And the, the machine does support Windows 11, Windows 10. Also will support, it does, if you feel, go with Linux if you want. Just all the plastic in the front. And the front uh, doesn't have a fan. You can install it also. It's an 80 millimeter if you want to install it. So 
Look complete. Just gonna install the side cover panel. And this is how it's gonna look like the back. And I'm gonna show you guys be the last part is uh install the USB adapter is for the Wi-Fi. Just like that. Let's see. They sell this also on, uh, online. I'm putting like in the description. You guys can buy this for the wireless Wi-Fi. It's an AC USB adapter, and this is gonna look like the back, guys. So, guys, this being in the video, this is uh, got a display port and HDMI port. Thanks for watching. Bye.